So in this video, we want to show you how to operate the remote audio panel. Notice this tab on the top of all the screens has a one and a two. That is COM1, COM2. The top row is receive, the bottom row is transmit. So in this visit currently, we are receiving on COM1, COM2, and we are transmitting on COM1. Now there's multiple ways actually to select which radio to use. You can touch the box to bring up the audio panel, or we'll hit back, you can hit check audio if it's turbulent. This here is the audio panel page. First box is the mute. This is how the music is muted. So you have all, which means it'll mute if you talk, if you receive a transmission. You can hit none if you want the music to just play all the time, or just radio. This box here is nav1, nav2, if you have two nav receivers. If you want to monitor the nav, you would hit here. Notice now the N1 comes up, signifying we're listening to nav1 also. This is the intercom select ICS. You have isolate, all, which means everybody hears everything, or crew, the front seat passengers just hear the radio transmissions. Next line down is if you have a Bluetooth phone hooked. In this case, my phone's hooked to it. You can see the battery level of your phone. You can see the intercom volume and the music volume. And the Bluetooth symbol means that the phone is connected with the Bluetooth. Down below is music select. So in this plane, you have pilot, co-pilot, and the passengers. You can select music one. In this case, it's XM music. You can turn it off, or you can select music two, which is the second jack you can plug into. Or music three is Bluetooth music, and that comes through the phone or iPad. Down here is receive select, so if we didn't want to receive on COM2, we would press that. And this is transmit, so if we decide we want to transmit on COM2 and receive, it moves them all. If you want to monitor COM1 and COM2, and everything you can do on here also has buttons that can be touched in case. Split mode is a special mode where the pilot talks on COM1 and the co-pilot talks on COM2. You can hit the back close button or hit back to take it away. And every screen has the monitoring tab so you can see what's going on. 